year on year 16.4 percent price growth highest ever sales transactions volume a penthouse selling for 500 million mortgage loans reaching 35,000 loans. These numbers are absolutely insane. If you're thinking about investing or purchasing property in Dubai, this is the video for you. Because I'm going to be analyzing the December numbers from Property Monitor, which is the biggest and best analytics firm for Dubai real estate. So let's jump into the report. The real estate market has gone up for 38 months straight, which is genuinely insane this equates to 45 percent these are the type of numbers you would expect to see in cryptocurrencies and not real estate they've also mentioned here that a lot of the demand has come from new project launches especially in the luxury to ultra luxury section so we've seen towers like bugatti mercedes and lots more branded residents coming onto the dubai market to cater for these high net worth individuals. However, relatively subdued compared to a price per square foot for new launches. What this basically means is the price of off plan units are increasing at a faster rate than ready units. So you might think, what does that mean? That means there's a lot of foreign investment. Because it's normally foreigners who like to purchase off plan units because it's good for their cash flow. So let's continue on the report. So we can see here 133,000 sales transactions. That is an insane number when you consider it's a 38.4% increase over the last year. And this beat the long standing 2009 record. That really goes to show the strength of the Dubai market in 2023. It's not all sunshines and rainbows for the Dubai market, which this report actually highlights. With numerous new development projects edging towards completion, the rental market is poised to see an increase in available inventory in the coming months. And with that, we should also see a gradual decrease in rents through 2024. That will be a welcome relief for renters because for the last couple of years, we've seen rents increasing at unsustainable levels. So to have some softening and a gradual decrease is actually very healthy for the market. So that's not too much of a concern. So if we move on, we can say forward looking into 2024, we anticipate that the bull run of the Dubai real estate market will continue well into the year however it's unlikely that we'll see the record-breaking fashion comparable to that of this year and this is where this is where it gets interesting there are headwinds on the horizon the price appreciation of completed properties is already displaying signs of slowdown and plateau particularly in villas and townhouses. I just want to stop there because uh, if I bring you back to the very beginning where there was a 45% increase in prices, is it really that surprising that there's going to be a slowdown and decreasing in prices? No, it's actually very, very healthy. So I don't think that is too much of an issue. The bull run to continue this year, but there's headwinds on the horizon. On the back of close to 100 new, 100,000 new residential units in 2023, these upcoming launches will continue to add to the robust pipeline. So that just means a lot of launches uh, that will be handing over in the years ahead with 40,000 plus units on the horizon this year and this is where it gets a bit concerning and increasing volumes over the next three to five years if there's increasing supply over the next three years buyers will have a lot more choice for their product so what we've seen over the last couple of years is any launches were selling out within a week or in some cases hours that is unlikely to continue the big big issue right now for the buyer real estate market is this so this is supply. If you are an investor, you need to be very, very aware of who you're buying, buying from. And it's the importance of your location you're buying into, the developer, the amenities and the views. This is going to become even more critical if you go and purchase from a poorer quality developer where there's not the demand for their product. 
or unit type, then you could be in a position where there's a lot of supply coming onto the market and your investment won't perform as strongly. Like any market, there's still really, really good investment opportunities. It's just you need to be very wary of where you are investing and who you're investing in. This is where the importance of developer becomes very, very important over the next sort of few years. As both occupiable and future supply increases, population growth will become one of the key measures to watch. Dubai experienced slightly less than 3% annual growth in population over 2023, with a relatively stable monthly growth trend of 0.25%. To absorb the coming supply this year, in the, and in the coming years, this rate needs to increase to avoid oversupply issues. So they are absolutely right. If you've got a lot more people who move to Dubai, then the supply isn't really an issue. So for example, okay, this is bad, this is gonna sound bad, but for example, if there's another war and then people end up moving to Dubai, that will keep property prices high and also keep rents high. Whereas if you get a situation where there's a big global downturn, that could cause people to move away from Dubai and property prices going down. However, it's worth mentioning that the Dubai government are putting a lot of policies in place so that people will stay in Dubai for longer and they have more established routes. I'm actually going to be doing a video on that in the near future, so keep an eye out for that one. If I'm going to draw out what I think is going to happen over 2024, I think we're going to carry on going up but at a slower rate. So we're going to go like this. And then maybe towards the end of a quarter, it might start plateauing a bit. Very popular area where there's lots of demand. Prices could carry on going like that. Whereas if you pick a location where suddenly a lot of supply enters a market and you pick a bad developer, that's where you run the risk of it going down. What I wanted to highlight here was the rate of price growth between April and September. There was such sustained price growth between these two months and these months are traditionally slower. So to have such high increases during this period was absolutely insane. This doesn't usually happen. Whereas an initial sale is directly from the developer. So blue equals developer. So that would be buying off Email, for example. So in December 2023, the market share of initial developer sales fell to 58.2%. So that means 58.2% 58, 58 of all sales are from the developer. The most popular initial sales came from Jumeirah Village Circle, which accounted for 16.1%, and Business Bay, which was 10.8%. Almost half of all off plan sales occurred in two locations, JVC and Business Bay. And this is where it is very, very important. If you are looking in these two locations, you go with a very good developer and the unit you pick is the right type of unit for that particular location and sub location. You've got good amenities and you've got good views because when you've got a lot of supply coming onto the market, uh, this will become even more important for you as an investor. If you want any help and advice, uh, book in a call, which will be below. And this page is also very interesting. This is the price tiers. So as you can see here, this basically shows 14.8% of all sales in December were between 2 million to 3 million. So in December, effectively, 50% of all sales were between 10 million dirhams and 1.5 million dirhams. So that's 50% here. The interesting thing is over the last couple of years, this segment of the market has been relatively undersupplied. There hasn't been too many developers catering for sort of, especially the sub 1 million mark. That's something to watch out for. And that was also highlighted. Also experienced notable growth uh, were the adjacent 1 million to 1.5 million and the 1.5 to 2 million. What I'll do is I'll make this a PDF so you can download it on the link below if you're interested in reading the report with my notes. And if you want to find out how to negotiate a lower price for your Dubai real estate investment, watch this video here and don't forget to like and subscribe.